Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Ixlon leaks and why there's so many recently. Now, it's not surprising, we got the Commander decks, one of the Commander decks, the Dragon deck. It is quite possible that we had all four of them, but we don't know that because Wizard of Coast shut down the person who was posting. Now, on top of that, we also got the Ixlon, which is incredibly early. This was before Hour of Devastation. We got Ixalan. We got the next set over. We got to see the rares and the mythics. And then most recently today, we got to see the release. I'm pretty certain that we were not supposed to see this because Wizards of the Coast immediately took down the page. Uh, they made sure that the access of the page was only available to other people. But it was already too late and these screenshots were taken and they kind of i mean not too much of it was given away but enough of it so it's going to be very hard to hype up this set because if you go to online a lot of you feel like oh i don't need to see this why are you talking about it well it's out there it's not like i'm the one who posted this wizard of coast posted it and it's kind of nice we get to see the pirates the white token I found out was a vampire. White vampire tokens, huh? That is out there. That's definitely something that I did not know. It looks like we're also getting goblins back. So it looks very tribal, which makes sense. Tribes are extremely fun and they are at the heart of Magic the Gathering. The other thing I want to point out about these leaks and just the fact that there's so many of them. I guarantee you vendors know what cards are going to be reprinted in Iconic Masters. Uh, these leaks are very harmless, but the leaks that are very harmful are when a vendor knows what is going to be Iconic Masters, what's going to be in 25th Masters, and we saw that with Star City Games, although they, have, they did deny it, but they denied it in such a way that makes me believe that they actually did it because their response was so professional. It was like they wrote up the response. And as soon as someone posted something bad, they copy, copy and paste it, and boom, done. It was like the perfect response, right? So at the uh, very end of the day, one of the more interesting scenarios that is happening, with especially with all the reprints and modern and iconic and legacy and internal formats, ED8s, the leaks are getting more and more valuable. And they are getting more and more common. And I'm not sure how a random person can get a leak, but a random person got the leak to the Commander 2017 Dragon deck, which is relevant because it did spike a card. It spiked that card that's not actually a dragon, but it's on the reserve list and it has it says dragon in it. It's interesting because back in the old days where we had the God Books, the God Books being very much like the fat packs or bundles today where it had lists all the cards. These God books were given to writers of articles and these writers of articles would need it in advance so they can write their article and then it would be submitted via print and then everyone would learn about the new cards on time. So there was no delay. Of course, whenever you have a system, you have people who want to abuse the system and that's what happened. The One of the Guillaumes, if not both the Guillaumes, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but they gave it to their friend and their friend was Guillaume something and Guillaume used it to his advantage because he got a longer time to play test and did much better. So these God books have existed forever. Now, Wizard of Coast will say that they don't send God books anymore, but I feel like that's a caveat. The caveat is they don't send physical God books anymore. They probably still send digital god books, and they, the reason they have to do so is they want writers to talk about them. So let's imagine that you are uh, Kotaku, and Kotaku is want, wanting to write an article about the new magic set. Would it be in Wizards of the Coast's best interest to send Kotaku a god book, a list of every single card and what they do, so the Kotaku writer who may not meet, be a Magic Gathering writer or a celebrity such as Day9, would be able to read it, make good content, and do a good job. That already happens today with 
loading, ready, and run, where they have their pre-release, I think a week ahead of time. So they have the material. And many people, some YouTubers have shown that they can get product way ahead of time, like boxes and boxes of product way ahead of time. And you might ask, okay, so what? Well, that means someone before that YouTuber had product and not one person, but many people had product early, weeks ahead of time. And it wouldn't, it would be advantageous for them to open the boxes and sell them early. And this is the same, it's a different symptom, but it's the same disease. And the disease is some people are favored and some people are not. The favored people get to know what cards are going to be in a set. So if you have a friend who works in R&D and is developing my best example of this, this is the one example that I know something strange happened, was Dark Depths. Dark Depths is a card that has 20 ice counters or something on it. It's, it was impossible to play before Vampire Hex Maids. Right before Vampire Hex Maids dropped and was spoiled, Dark Depths spiked like crazy. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out, because I make these videos, right? What went up? When, what went up? And sometimes, oh, it's on a reserve list. Oh, it's a crappy reserve list card. Oh, it's an on a reserve list. So a lot of times when a card's not good, I look for it and it's on the reserve list and then that's the explanation. But Dark Depths had no explanation. It was in no decks. It was not played in any format, really. And then Vampire Hex Maids, which allows you to play that on turn two. Get a 2020 Flying Invincible creature, which turns out to be good in every single format. But that was the first time I saw something like that happen where there's advanced knowledge. The Star City Games does this a lot when they sell Force of Will or discounted because they feel like it's going to be reprinted and guess what, it's reprinted. They have a very good... So I used to believe Star City Games was very good at like MTG Finance. Then I realized that they probably actually don't need to do MTG Finance because they're given information ahead of time. If you are a multi-million dollar company like Star City Games, you know people in R&D, you have connections, your pro players are well connected in that community. If a random person can get an entire EDH deck and a random person can walk out with an entire mythic and rare sheet and foil, by the way, what can Star City Games get? What can Card Kingdom get, which is located in Seattle? The answer is, what can they not get? And I know a lot of you might disagree. You might think I'm making a conspiracy. But the finance, the MTG finance doesn't lie. Dark Depths was utter, utterly useless. And then it started to move. Uh, it started to move unnaturally. The same with like ban and restrict announcement. Bitter Blossom, right before it was going to be unbanned, moved a lot. And you might think, oh, well, all cards that are going to be unbanned kind of move. Not as much as Bitter Blossom moved. Uh, it was almost, somebody either was very good at MTG Finance and guessing at this type of stuff, or they got really lucky, or they had insider information. And Bitter Blossom at the price point is not a card that I would be like, huh, okay, let's, let's spend money on it and hope it gets unbanned. It's not cheap enough to do so, and for someone to buy that many copies that fast is quite interesting. Anyway, the reason that um, the leaks are interesting because they show that information already exists, right? Exxon, somebody knows the entire set for Exxon. Someone knows if there is an amazing combo card out there. They, are, they already know that. And if a random person can find this information, Imagine what a vendor, a professional vendor with many Magic players on its payroll can find out. The answer is pretty much everything, right? <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. Bye, guys.